So welcome to the third part of the second episode. Uh, remember we are talking about the tools panel and on part one I talked about the selections group and these uh, general icons here. On part two I talked about the painting and retouching group and now I will uh, show you the tools that we have inside the vector group. Before I talk about the tools themselves I want to show you the difference between um, something you make with the brush tool so the first thing I do I'll select the brush tool set the hardness to 100 percent make a new layer and paint a simple circle like this and now I'll get the one of the vector uh, tools that we have and create a vector element and I'll try to keep it at, at the same size like this it's a bit bigger but doesn't matter so the difference between a bitmap which is the one on the left and a vector which is the one on the right is that as you can see on the layers panel on the right this one has another thumbnail here which is called a vector mask and this other smaller thumbnail which is a color selection while the layer with that contains this circle which I made with the brush tool uh, it's just a simple layer and you cannot and you don't have anything else here uh, so the difference between these two is that when you resize a vector it will always retain the quality on the edges uh, while this uh, bitmap it's called a bitmap uh, which I made with the brush tool will not um, retain the quality on the edges so in order to demonstrate that I will resize them so I select both layer both layers press and hold the control and press T to load the free transform tool you can also access this tool from the edit menu and free transform where you can see control T and now I will resize uh, these two shapes at the same time and I'll press enter and you'll see the difference see the how this the edges of the bitmap are soft and uh, not really well defined while the vector it's sharp it's really sharp the edge of this uh, circle so that's the main reason why uh, logos and things like that are made using vectors because you might want to resize logos to fit the website or a um, business card and you need to have the possibility to resize that logo without losing quality so that's why they use vectors and on top of that you can change the color really easily with a vector you can see that if, if you click, double click this um, small square you get the color picker and you can change the color to whatever color you want uh, while in this one you cannot do anything. If you double click you get the layer styles uh, panel which is not useful in this case. So let's move on and talk about the tools that we have in this uh, group. The first tool is called the pen tool and you can access it by pressing P. And this tool has two modes um, shape layers and paths. And I'll talk about the paths first so in order to draw a path just click and drag and what we have here this is called a anchor an anchor point and this I think are called control points or at least I call them control points and if I, if I click on another place and drag again I create another anchor point with with its own control points and this is an open path um, you can, if you want to close it just uh, click here and drag and you have a closed path and a path is nothing more than a line you don't have anything here just a line you can turn this into a selection you can stroke it um, you can add text to follow this uh, I'll show you how to do that in a in another video I have a special video for vector so don't worry about that right now let's delete that and move to the second mode which is called the shape layers now when you select this one you see a few other options appearing here uh, I'll tell you what is that for 
on the vectors uh, episode. So also notice that when when I create a shape, a new layer will be created automatically. So there it is, and this works exactly the same as the paths. Just create anchor points, but the difference here is that the shape that you create it's uh, filled with the color and actually it's the color that you have here and here control points uh, and anchor points can be modified uh, the next tool that we have inside here which might be useful for you is the free pan tool it's the same as the the lasso tool uh, you can click and drag to create the path and when you let go uh, it closes the path and creates the shape but I never use this tool so the next tool is called a type tool and as you guessed it is to add text to your to your canvas so I'll type PSD box here and with the move tool I can move it wherever I want now when I select this layer you can see that the options that you have here are still the options of the tool that you have selected here so if I want to modify the properties of the text you have to double click the thumbnail and the options load here for the text and you can change the font from here you can change if you want to have it in italics or in bold let's say select another font so you can see you have semi bold, bold italics, condensed whatever the font that you have selected uh, supports so this one don't have any any options for that so it depends on the font that you have selected you can also change the size uh, maximum is on the list is uh, 72 pixels but if you want to make it bigger than that just click and drag here on this double T uh, icon and you can make it as big as you want and then you have the alignment tools uh, really simple align left right or centered then you can change the color uh, you can also change the color from here but the disadvantage of changing the color from here is that you don't see the color because as you can see the text is selected and even though I select red you cannot see the color because it's inverted so if you click here the text deselects it removes the selection uh, background and you can change the uh, the color to whatever color you want and you can see it right here and when you accept that color you can see the selection loads again the next option that you have here is called the warp text and this one it's uh, you can do some funny stuff with it you can style your text like this you have some options here horizontal and the distortion if you want to reset press and hold the alt key and you can see the cancel turns into a reset and you can reset back to the default and you have all sorts of uh, options here you can try them for yourself and make some funny some funny things with that custom shape tool and he inside here you have a bunch of other tools to create the um, shapes uh, you have a few presets here, the rectangular shape uh, it works the same as the selection tools but um, and the same as the pen tool with the shape selected so you create a, s a shape like this and when you let go it fills it with the color that you have here and you have the same um, vector mask as on, on all the other uh, vector tools, well actually like on the pen tool because the text tool don't have a a vector mask. Then you have the rounded rectangle which allows you to set radius let's say like 10 you make a rounded rectangle you can set the radius to whatever you want it's uh, 100 and you make a rectangle like this then you have the ellipse tool which allows you to make circles and stuff like that if you want to make a perfect circle just hold the shift key and drag and you create a, a perfect circle and then you have the polygon tool uh, which allows you to create shapes like this you can set how many sides you want if you want to make a triangle you set three sides and make triangles 
In this case you don't have to press the shift key, you can create a perfect triangle just by clicking and dragging. And you have a few options here, if you click on this uh, little arrow here, uh, I, as I see right now it says geometry options. Um, you can set radius if you want to make a specific size uh, for the triangle because uh, we have three sides so we have a triangle. You can make smooth corners. Actually let's try the radius if you set radius to 100 pixels and you create even if you drag uh, the triangle will not be bigger than 100 pixels so that's the radius for. Remember to remove this if you don't need it otherwise you will not be able to create uh, free triangles then you have also have an option for smooth corners uh, to make a smooth uh, triangle you can also make a star so if you have a four you can make a four pointed star if you have five you make a, a traditional star so to say and you can combine these two so you can if you make you can make a smooth star like this if you put three sides you can make something like this you can also if you select the star option you, have, you can make the indents uh, to be smooth and you'll see that in a second so the difference between this and we if we deselect the smooth indent you get this so it smooths these um, corners uh, which are called indents and you can specify an amount of indentation and of course you can combine the three of them and get something like this so you can create some cool shapes with this and combine with the sides so the next um, shape tool that we have here it's called the line tool uh, let's set the the weight to like 10 pixels and we have a line which is 10 pixels uh, the width of it so the width of the line is 10 pixels if you want to make it thinner than that you can type for example 2 pixels and you have a 2 pixels line like this then we have the custom shape tool when you select this option you have a thumbnail of the all the shapes that you have here you can download shapes from the internet and have them uh, in this list if you don't see the entire list uh, you can search for more presets from this uh, little arrow here and select all and you'll get this list and you can resize it uh, from this from the corner you can resize it like this and if you select one of the shapes here uh, let's select this um, arrow here click and drag and you get the, this arrow but as you can see the proportions are not constrained if you want to do that you'll have to press the shift key and now you have uh, the shape exactly keeping the proportions so we have a perfect uh, shape uh, let's do the same with uh, I don't know, this car for example you can make a really narrow car like this or if you press and hold the shift key you get the uh, right proportions to them and notice that let me draw that again you still have the same vector mask here which you can edit the same way as you edited this uh, other vectors uh, with these tools you, have, you can select the path selection and these are uh, you can see it loaded the entire the anchor points of the entire uh, vector so you can work with this one uh, individually so that's uh, pretty much uh, it with all the tools and it was a long three parts uh, video but um, I hope you you got an idea of what you can do with this tool don't worry about uh, specific tools I'll make separate videos for the, most imp for the most important tools like selections or the brush tool or the vectors I'll make uh, separate videos for those ones because they are more uh, important and you will use them on your design so see you next time